The functions that were used to copy data was uh, pretty manual in here, where I had to go in and do it. But there actually is an ability to use the application server. And for this company in here, the Easy Security, there is an application server that has been set up, and it's sitting and running the job queue right now. So if I actually go into my actions, I'll go to NAS processing entries in here, and go down and add another one. And the action I want to do is uh, copy the setup data in here. And uh, I can then go in and say I want to reset the status. And I want to say add the job queue entry. So it inserted the job queue entry. And if I f look at this one, it has now actually been finished in here. And if I even go look at the event viewer in here, I can see that something actually happened in here because I get a status uh, of all the events that actually went in in here. So you can see that to the Kronos International, it updated these ones. So just to uh, actually see that something happens in here, uh, I'll go into my uh, data security codes and actually add uh, another one in here that is called uh, foreign, for example, um, for my customer. Go uh, look at my objects, and I'll put in like form. I'll copy my details from domestic form. And instead of this one, I'll just have uh, foreign in here. And then I want to add my page. And I want to copy my setup again from my foreign form, so I don't have to really type anything in here, I just copy it. So it's all set up, so I have the same filter. And if I now go look, of course this one won't exist in my other company, so if I look at my Kronos International work in here, I'll see that I don't have my foreign code in here. But I can now go back and go to my Easy Security company, look at my NAS processing entry and say I want another one of these uh, copy uh, flats set up. And it creates it on hold in here, but when I reset the status, it also puts an entry in for the job queue, and it now was ready. And if I look at it here in a second, it should now be finished. So the NAS picked it up, and it actually published that one. And I can, of course, go here, refresh my event viewer, and I'll see that I had the one new security code added in here. And if I go take a look inside the application, that of course also means that my foreign code has now been pushed to the company with my objects and everything that I actually set uh, up the same way as I did in the security company. So the NAS is nice to do that push. It also means that the user actually doing the publish or the push to the other companies don't need to be a super user. They don't even need to have access to the other companies. They can actually do it in the easy security company that can create the NAS entry. And the NAS then needs to have access to the other company, but the user actually don't. So that, that's a very nice way of having people that maintain security that don't even have access to the companies where they're actually maintaining security for.